Super Bowl week is supposed to be a time of celebration for the NFL. However, a new lawsuit now alleges racial discrimination against pro football. Legal analyst Wendy Patrick joins us live. Wendy, good morning. Good morning, Raul. So this is interesting. Some former players are now claiming that concussion, the concussion protocols are biased. Explain what that's all about. That's right. And Raul, you can uh, relate. Uh, you have a family of athletes, so you can relate to the risk of injury. Well, we all know on the football field, that's one of the riskiest places when it comes to injuries like concussions. We're thinking about that right now as we get ready to, to celebrate Super Bowl Sunday. So Chrissy is wearing red for Valentine's Day. I guess <laughs> I am too. But we're also ready for the big game on Sunday. And we're ready for excitement. We're ready for skill and strategy, but also the very real risk of injury. So this lawsuit is about how that injury after the fact, often years after the fact, can be calculated when it comes to dementia-related claims. Now, we have long recognized that repeated concussions and head injuries have put prior players, not only does sometimes it force them into early retirement, but years after the fact when they develop these injuries, these secondary injuries, then they come back and look at, well, is this going to be something that's payable by the league? And as we all know, there's a settlement that's available. But are we calculating those injuries, are the clinicians calculating those injuries unfairly by looking at race? Hmm. That's interesting. So comparing the cognitive test scores is one of the criteria here because there has to be criteria, right? So why do some players say that's not fair? Well, they say it's not fair because the norm should be the same, and apparently, according to some of the clinicians, they are not. And that is just the, that's one of the many problems that you see when you're actually going mm. to be using race for a reason other than it was intended. Right. So when you look at, for example, what something is worth years after the fact, I mean, think about it. Head injuries are game over for the players, sometimes sidelining players permanently. But then when you develop dementia-related claims and you look at what they sometimes call race norming and deciding, well, how much cognitive decline is due to, to the particular performance of a player, you can't use race in a fashion that is discriminatory. And that is what these ex-players are alleging is being done when, their, when their, uh, their payouts are sometimes being denied by the league. Other than the obvious, why is this issue so important? Well, the issue is important because there's a significant amount of black players that are alleging that they're being treated differently, that their claims are being calculated differently simply due to the color of their skin. And it's appropriate that we're also talking about this during Black History Month because even the clinicians are saying, we don't want to unfairly discriminate against black players simply because of the color of their skin. The players themselves are speaking out. They're very vocal about the reality that, hey, they're one big team. They are a family out there on the playing field and that the color of their skin should not be used to unfairly deny them claims to which they allege they're entitled when years after the fact, their years on the field are something that's mm. being uh, basically used to say, look, we deserve the same payout as we would be entitled to if we were white. Now, the, the league, of course, is is fighting back and saying, yeah. no, that's actually not the way it's happening. It's not fair. And so there are two sides to this controversy, as, as you and I both know, there always are when we talk about legal stories. But it's something that needs to be further examined. And that's true even according to the clinicians who years after the fact have said, you know, sometimes and in some cases, we think maybe this may have accounted for some unfair denials of claims. And honestly, sometimes it takes years for some of these major sports leagues to, to come around, if you will. So what do you think is going to happen and what's the timeline to correct this? I think what's going to happen is a very close re-examination of the protocols used to calculate whether or not a claim has merit, whether mm -hmm. it should be pursued, and how much it is worth. And I think, uh, according to your, the second part of your question, which I think is very important, how long is it going to take? It depends on how seriously we take this issue, how many people are looking at it. And like any lawsuit, it's evidence-based. And if this goes forward, as it seems to be, that'll be something that a judge will look at down the line, is let's re-examine these claims and let's see if any protocols were used that were discriminatory, and then how can we rectify this on a going forward basis? And many of the players that have brought these claims forward have been so gracious in explaining it's not just about them. It's about all the talented men on the field that are coming up behind them and may have, unfortunately, similar claims in the future. All right, Wendy Patrick, very interesting. Thank you so much. Thank you, Raul.